Hi guys, this is Wirehead King, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make progress bars actually do something in Visual Basic 2010 Express. So, what I mean by this is if I press start here, you see the progress bar goes up, this little value is changing while it's going up, and then it says hello once it's reached the top. Uh, it did say Visual Basic, look, and then when we press start again, uh, it says hello. So, uh, it involves some simple coding, not too tricky, but uh, you know, kind of easy. So new project, I'm just going to discard my changes, Windows form application, that's fine, and uh, just going to add in what we want. So we're going to go to toolbox, and I'm going to scroll up to add uh, two buttons, uh, they can go here, and just make this more squished in. There we go, hang on. Yeah, let's just uh, get these lined up a bit better. Perhaps just make it a bit longer. There we go. So, uh, toolbox. Uh, gonna now add two labels a label one, label two. Uh, label two goes down here, label one goes here. And I'm now gonna add the last two things, which are a progress bar uh, here and a timer here. Alright then, so, in the uh, progress bar's going on here to there, timer one sitting there, fine. Okay, now we're going to change the text on button one to start, button two to reset, uh, label two to zero percent, um, and label one to visual basic, or whatever it is that you want there. And I'm just going to change the size of it to make it a bit bigger. Arial, bold, and size 12. There we go. Oh, hang on. Put that there. Okay, so now what we need to do is start coding. So we've got the setup. Now we need to get into stuff to do stuff. Because if we start debugging, press start, you know. Visual Basic doesn't have a clue what it's supposed to be doing. Um, so, we need to start adding in the codes. So, we're going to press start, and this start thing is only going to do one thing. It's going to uh, do timer one dot start. Uh, whatever you named your timer, by the way. So, if you called this timer Bob, you're going to have to type in Bob dot start. Open bracket, close bracket. Um, so, yeah, now we're going to actually make timer one do something. So, what we're going to do is we're going to make it progress bar one dot increment. Uh, open bracket one, close bracket. Uh, so what that's going to do is the uh, progress bar one, or whatever you call your progress bar, increment is basically the increase or decrease of values, and the when it's one, that means it's going to add one. If you put minus one, then it's minus one. You, but you know, uh, it's not too important to put in a plus before it because if you just put one, then Visual Basic just assumes that you actually mean to add one rather than minus one. Okay, so that's that. Now we're going to do if progress bar one dot value equals 100 uh, press enter then it will give you a then and end if um, automatically uh, then uh, label one dot text equals uh, uh, you know a uh, speech mark or whatever you call it hello let's make a capital letter hello and that's that okay uh, after this end if thing, um, that doesn't mean, you know, end something if this happens. That's just ending this if section. Because if we carry on and saying if this, this, and this happens, then um, this happens. But this is just if this happens, then. Uh, well, no. If this happens, then that happens. Um, so now we've ended this, so it's not going to be if this happens, this, this, and this. It's only this happens. If if that makes sense, that kind it's kind of confusing. I I know, but it's that should hopefully make a bit of sense to some of you. So um, in this end if thing, we're going to put uh, label two dot text equals progress bar one dot value, um, and not like uh, the word and the little sign for and because if you put the word and then it's a completely different function, completely different meaning, you know, all that stuff. So, and, um, open bracket, speech mark, space, percent, speech mark, close bracket. 
Um, I think that's everything needed to be done there. So, yep. Uh, if we then now we'll do something to this reset thing, what we're going to do is we're going to do a uh, timer one dot stop. Uh, that doesn't mean it's going to like stop and reset, it's just going to stop it, so pause it, in other words. So I need to actually make it reset something, so we're going to reset its functions. So we're going to do progress bar one dot value equals zero, label one dot text equals, um, uh, you know, visual basic, that was it, uh, label two dot text equals uh zero percent and I think that's it. Yeah, I think that's it. Um so yeah. Also I'm gonna go to the timer one and just change the interval to about twenty because that just speeds up the process. So if you now press play, hopefully this should all work. Press start. You can see it's all working correctly. It says hello, press reset okay good so we've got it uh, that's that done so I hope this helps you with your software development um, so thanks for watching comment rate subscribe this has been a wirehead king visual basic tutorial uh, goodbye